Last episode, I titled my, you know, my video saying this changes everything, but it actually does change everything. It's not even clickbait because the introduction of a new mechanism through like awakening your wands true form. This is straight out of Bleach. This is some Shikai Bankai shit. I never thought that the wands were important in season one because, you know, the wands were basically a random stick you just cast spells with. No one actually thought that this would play like an important role until now. So apparently, if you were three liner, and again, you can never trust people that only has like one line or two lines in their face because for some fucking reason, Reine, he's able to just like, I don't know, you know, the third line just showed up. How did he do it? No one really fucking knows. Who cares? He's got a great power and only third liners can do this like Bankai style of attack, which is fucking so cool. I was wondering, you know, if two liners gets like a seconds, then what would three liners like a thirds would be? That's what we see, right? So I think now we're going to go into this Divine Divisionary uh, Selection, you know, arc. Margaret's still being pretty hyped up because it's like, oh, not everybody is, uh, what's the word? Trying to be a Divine Visionary, right? So this kind of hypes up that character too. I think it's going to be a crazy episode. Let's begin today's episode. Right, we're trying to like get this thing. It sounds easy enough, but okay. Will Finn actually do something? Will Finn actually show his magic this season? I mean, this is a tutorial. Wait, Finn's on his fucking knees right now. That's so embarrassing. You are the brother of the current sword divine visionary. You're, like, this is a coliseum. Everyone can see you amongst, like, these are the greats of the greats lined up. And bro is fucking just sticking out his gat up. Yeah, I do like her design, how it looks like a scar for the fucking commentator. It shouldn't be strong, right? It is pretty strong. Immune to magic, as in MASH is gonna fucking excel, because all he has to do is just punch him out. If you just make contact with the axe, you're done. Okay, you don't die, it's a soul splitting. It's like soul damage. MASH is probably gonna accidentally just find the key. Really? Is there a deeper meaning? Really? There's a deeper meaning? You know, it'd be really cool, even though they're immune to magic, if someone here was actually so strong enough, they could brute force this and like somehow defeated these things that are supposed to be immune to magic, you know? Something like that would be super cool, but maybe not. Most likely, MASH is just gonna fucking brute force it with this punch, you know? But it would be cool if there's another person that could do something like that. See, they know about Rain, except they're not even comparing it to Finn at all. Huh. <laughs> See? It means to magic my ass. That doesn't matter. <laughs> Everyone just watching. <laughs> the audience just go, huh? 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 Yeah, it's just, uh, brute force. Retreat? Who's retreating? Oh my god, those dead, those, those fucking minotaur looking things are gonna start running away from MASH, right? Oh my god, are they all gonna start running away in theater? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, it's up? We could just punch it again, right? Instant heal, but what about just another punch then? <laughs> okay, he just runs too. I don't know. I thought it'd be hilarious if you somehow, like, you know, physically just, like, abused them to the point they got scared of MASH and they're the ones starting to run away. What? Someone has... Oh, he just said that he has a puny brain. Wait. Someone has size... Creating magic. Oh, that guy. Oh. So utility magic like this is very useful, obviously, in, like, a game where you're supposed to run away. Bad eyesight. Great for sound. Okay. Why is he thinking about cream puffs in this analogy? He's probably just thinking about how much bigger his cream puffs can get with this magic. More cream puffs to eat. New friend? Wait, new friend? He seems like a good person based on his eyesight. I mean, <laughs> eyesight. I'm just looking at his eyes, right? They don't look twisted. He seems a little bit kind of forceful saying, hey, we formed an alliance, but... What if Matt says no? <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's jumping to the gun, you know? This is like, you know, we're on the first date already. He's just basically saying, I love you. Like, hold up, relax. 
<laughs> is he nice or is he just super dumb and naive? Maybe a little bit of both. Hmm. What? Oh, that was too much knowledge for him? Wait, are you back? So I think we finally found a counter to MASH. If there's no amount of, you know, brute force or magic or the kind of threats are gonna, like the traditional threats are gonna work on him. So instead, if we have someone that just like explains to him all really complicated shit, just talks to him in like a really like a uh, difficult way for him to understand, he would just lose. Then again, he could get earplugs for that. But this is Mash's actual counter, like big words, which isn't even big words. Yeah, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Follow Minotaur, find key. You got it? Got it. Finn is surviving. Dots being an idiot as usual. <laughs> this fucking idiot just yelled and just got the fucking aggro for the Minotaur. Okay, what's Lance doing? Surely he's doing something proper, right? What did Lance find? Because <laughs> they have bad eyesight, so if we're really quiet, it should work. But Dots a fucking idiot, so he's just screaming. <laughs> Wait, it's actually working! Somehow this just- Ah, you- Ah! I would do he he fucking Michael Jackson, dude. What is this? 45 degrees land. Doesn't the character from One Piece also do this shit? The skeleton guy. 45 degrees slam. <laughs> this is actually incredibly hard to do, dude. That, like, you have to have ridiculous, like, lower body strength and body control to be able to do a 45 degree slant like that. Holy. What is that? Oh, it's the key thing. It might be a key in there. That's it? Wait, 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 wait. It baited us! It just made a huge noise! Yes. Yes. Just pop the balloon! Just pop the balloon and run! Yeah, exactly! Uh, did it work? I guess there's no way. It's popping proof, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm not understanding that. Like, you can't physically just pop this. Like, we have to, like, insert air to do it. But Mash could just do that, right? But it's gotta be with magic? Just, just, just blow into the hole, which sounds really weird right now, but just, just do it. Oh, wait, his brain cell is working. The single brain cell he has. What's he doing? Huh? Make it bigger. Why? Maybe we are morons, but if you just keep stretching it, eventually would the material... Because, like, when it gets bigger, the material is scaling up together with it, right? So whatever fiber material that is, right, it should technically scale up together, but unless it's not and it's just actually just stretching and stretching to pop, I'm not sure what he's going here. What's he doing? You can't... Wait, wait, what did you just say? But what if you get so tiny? Make the balloon go big and make Mash so small, then he jumps up and grabs the key and gets out. Isn't that possible? Even if it makes a noise, if it touches the inside. So what if you just like, wait, hold up. The soundtrack changed to a goofy tune. I think we're about to get something really dumb right now. Hold up. What's he doing? Uh oh. What's he doing? He's uh, spinning? Huh? What are we doing? Some capoeira shit. I don't know. What the fuck? You can just create a tornado like that? Break dancing? Oh, and then we use the break dancing to fucking put the fucking airflow up there to pop it. Why are we like, is that the only way? I thought that for some reason, Matt should just go up to it and just go like, and like, you know, just do it like that. But this works too, sure. The pink hair girl. <laughs> Everyone else is like, this is freaky. This is gross. What the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> Lemon's like, please marry me. <laughs> Look at his head. Look at his fucking head, dude. <laughs> Look at that head go crazy. <laughs> All right, we got the key. Their faces became so much smaller. <laughs> Can we pass? But, but did we get the first key? Or did MASH get the first key? Can both of them survive based on one key? How does that work? 
Okay. Sure? Okay. Other teams, what you doing? Lance can just... Oh, smart. Lance is pretty smart, yeah. How is Finn gonna make it out? How the fuck did you do it, you idiot? How? How? Well, he got bombs, you know? Like, bomb stuff can blow up an air. I don't know. Like, what? Margaret got it too, sure? What? The, okay, who is this guy at the bottom right? We saw him last episode too. I'm like, it's gotta be a mob character. Uh, hello. <laughs> Jesus. Finn is just no development still. So scared still, like. Oh, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. He technically did get the key, so Finn is more hopeless. Did Senpai also get a key? Oh, we're just gonna give it to him. Wait, what is this? Hold up. The soundtrack changed and it's a pink background. I thought he started blushing for a second. Okay. Alright. So he really was just a good person from the beginning. And he's friends with Rain or at least knows of him. We call him Mr. Rabbits now? He, he does like cute rabbits. Okay. I don't know. I thought this guy was maybe being set up as being too nice to like betray us, but... He's a senpai is actually really good. People like you? With no magic? I feel like characters like this is the perfect kind of character to die later. You know? Like why are we investing so much time right now, huh? Why are we investing so much time into this guy, the senpai? It's so nice. This is genuinely good. Genuinely good mentors usually die in shonen shows to be like, to inherit their will or have some kind of emotional moment for the main character to pop off. I feel like that's where we're going with this dude. Dramatic white scene. What are they doing with this guy? Wait! Now we're alone. What about his inner thoughts? Is he actually good? Show me your true face. Yeah? Yeah, now then what? <laughs> what did I fucking say? <laughs> what, did I, what did I fucking say? <laughs> no, he's not dead, okay. I, th I thought he got stabbed from behind or something. He's actually dead. No no no. That was just a cut. Carpaccio, interesting. Luo Yang, Carpaccio. He's got a cool design. Oh, the cut's not even that bad. I thought his eyeball was taken out. Okay. Don't off screen this, please. Don't off screen this. They're gonna get off screen, right? Off screen. I can't believe this fucking tubby mob character passed, dude. Jesus Christ. Alright. Mr. Mash, breakdancer, he's made it. Dot and Finn somehow made it. Dot hard carried Finn again. Bro, even last episode. Fucking, no, sorry, not last episode, last season. Remember when we were versus the Magus Lupus? And like, um, Finn was there with Dot. I thought Finn would do something. It was going to be like a 2v2, but no. Dot just like solo carried everything. And even now, Dot still carried Finn. This is like pretty cool for Dot to be able to do this shit. He's a good friend. But like, what about Finn's development? Like still nothing from Finn. Nothing's changed. Dot's still carrying his ass. Like something's got to change. Dot is actually incredibly capable, man. Like we might look down on him just because he acts like stupid, but like we're all stupid. But like Dot's actually really competent. Bro, we don't have magic, remember? Senpai cares about you. Senpai? Oh no. The other guy's gonna come out, right? Senpai's dead, right? Now, maybe not dead, but the other guy's gonna come out. Carpaccio. No, it's a senpai first, and senpai's gonna fall, right? No, 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 no. This, this is so cliche in anime. They do this shit all the time. Look, he's so injured, he's walking. Then he's gonna fall. Carpaccio's gonna be right behind. No. Fall. <laughs> this is so cliche! They do this shit all the time. All right, Carpaccio is pretty legit. We don't know what his magic is, but okay. Like, I thought that Senpai, the build-up for Senpai like this was set up for like future episodes for us to get some kind of emotional moment. But like, they just like, we were like, we became friends within the span of like 15 minutes. And then a minute, like like 10 seconds after, we're like, we're good friends now. He just fucking like almost dies. Okay. Yo. Yo, someone stop. I don't need weak ones. He just seems to be evil for the sake of being evil. 
それ以上やるなら殴りますよ。おお、どうやどうやそこまでやる必要あったんですか僕の勝手だと。カルパッチョローヤン。今年の内部シーズンは、本物の。Yeah, he's got two lines, seemingly, right? One above, one below. I was wondering why that girl was hold, standing there with the fucking tray with the drink. I thought it was supposed to be a superpower or something, but he has like maids. He has like servants that like. He did say, I don't need weakling. So, like, he has like servants that just like brings him. Oh, here's your towel. Here's your drink, sir. I feel like he's gonna slap her. The way that he looks at her right now, I don't think this is gonna be good. Yo! Show him who the weakling. I should have seen that coming! Bro, I'm fucking ready with the car! Look at this! Look at this! It just looks like he got splashed in the face, right? But no, 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 no. Blocked. Uh oh. Oh, even drank it up. He, he put in his fucking muscle drink, so he has like a powder thing too, right? With it, he mixed it up. This is some next level of disrespect right now. <laughs> Bro made that insult into a protein shake. Hashtag ad. This <laughs> is just typical mass shit, dude. Wonder what he's thinking about Mr. Capraccio right now. Even Dumbledore? You're stronger than Rain, you're stronger than Mr. Wahlberg, you're stronger than everyone that we've met so far. Really? Really? I mean, I, I want to believe it. I do want to believe it. <laughs> Bro was so dumb that he was about to go on a philosophical you know, statement of what strength is, and he's like, Hold up, what does it mean to be strong again? <laughs> They've really, have they dumbed down MASH? No, I feel like as the show goes on, the author got more used to, more comfortable with how he's gonna like do like quirky moments and like random like running gags with dumb moments. I feel like MASH this season has been even more fucking dumb in a fun way. Fight! 1v1 right now! Oh, now you're gonna stop? Now you're gonna stop this commentator? <laughs> Not when the other guy was our senpai was getting his fucking head curb stomped by the other guy. All right. You're just gonna stop it before it gets the hype shit. All right. Uh, what is this? Whoa. Whoa, new coats. Our rope changed colors, except technically we just went from like dark, dark blue to just a slightly lighter blue. Team battle royale teamwork. Another team battle where Finn is gonna get fucking carried. Interesting that Lance is on Margaret's team though, huh? We've got Dot, Mash, Finn, and everyone else, but... Again, like, Finn's just gonna get fucking carried. There's no time for his development. All three members gotta get one crystal. Sorry. You have crystals and you protect it. Uh-oh, he's going Baba because it's too much knowledge. It's, it's too much... <laughs> It's, no, it just have crystal, protect crystal, team battle, easy. What, is, what does that say about your captain, though? That's it. Yeah, just smash the crystal mash. Is it easy? Mash, smash crystal. Mash. See, see, I feel like the author is getting more comfortable with how he wants to play around with mash and the running gag, so he's like even more stupider. <laughs> Me smash crystal. That's right. So does that? Well, we don't know how many people can qualify, but like if this is all team battle, assuming like if they, it's all or nothing, right? So Lance is just done from this year's divisionary, you know, visionary fucking exam mark? What? Hmm. Yeah, your fate, but like you don't deserve any of this. Finn, do something! Sorry, wait. Oh, someone broke it. Hold up. I, I, whoa, 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 someone broke it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, if all our crystals break, we drop out. Not just an individual. He was just talking about, oh, even if mine breaks, at least everyone else has it. So Mash and Dot's gonna carry me. Bro, broke his own crystal? What do you mean? You, what do you mean it slipped?
Doc's gonna break his crystal too right now. Oh no, we've got two fucking idiots. How? It slipped? <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> this is pretty bad. <laughs> Imagine we hear a smash right now, we just hear like a shattering sound <laughs> and we're just done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got your crystal, right? I don't like this, dude. I don't like this. He keeps saying, as long as these two are at my side, right? Because again, I want him to develop into some kind of monster, just like his brother. Maybe he's not supposed to be that kind of character, but at least show me some sort of development where he stops relying on his friends to carry him all the time and actually fucking, you know, carry your own weight. <laughs> and end of episode? No, not yet. Oh no, we don't get ported as a team. We gotta meet up with Finn. Uh oh. Uh oh. I want Mash to fight Carpaccio though. And Margaret too, and Finn's alone though. This is actually dangerous. Bro, you better do something. And end of episode. See, the thing about Finn, like, I may be too harsh on him, but it's been fucking two seasons, right? It's been fucking two. It's sorry, it's, it's the second season right now. And, like, his brother has been hyped up to be the Divine Visionary. So, like, you would think that Finn would eventually carry his own weight. And I think we're getting there, right? I think we are really starting to get there where Finn has to be in a position to be able to carry his own weight. Because every time he's always thinking, oh, as long as my friends are here, as long as these two are here, right? This is a perfect moment where Finn could actually do something and maybe even use his fucking magic. Can you imagine that? We're like, what? One season plus, like, what? How many episodes in three or four episodes in season two? We still don't know what his fucking powers are. What is his power? Maybe we'll be able to finally figure out what's going to happen. You know what? I feel really bad for this episode, though. I feel bad for our senpai. This senpai literally gets introduced as a nice person. Is so nice to match. I'm like, what's going on? I feel something kind of sus about him. Why would they be overtly de like um, developing this character to the point where he considers his friend? It's because mentorship leaders, people who are older senpais that are like nice are the perfect candidates to like kind of die or be sacrificed so that the main character or some kind of person that like depends on them will inherit their will and move forward. This is the common cliche. Just think about every shonen show you like. Think about main character death and how they relate to the main character. They're usually some sort of older mentor figure that <laughs> has a complete character arc and only exists to kind of like coach and die so that the main character can get hyped up. He didn't die, but I thought it was like a, such a funny thing when it's like, what are they doing with them? And immediately he gets fucking stabbed. Okay, bro's dead. He's not dead. Carpaccio, though, of all the people so far, Margaret is pretty hyped up because he was able to fight against Rain. He did escape, but he also mentioned he wasn't going all out. And we have this guy, Mr. Carpaccio. His name is pretty cool. It's two liner. Who really knows if it's just two lines? He seems to be having a, a god complex, you know, calling everybody weak. Kind of weak in terms of like. A villain you know so far he just like oh people are beneath me because they're weakling but it's like okay mr edgelord is there something a little bit more unique about you or are you just you know evil for the sake of being evil i'm sure we'll get to figure that in the future episodes but yeah that's pretty much it i think the highlight of today's episode was just all the dumb moments mash and his dumb brain and his group of friends that all share one single brain cell it actually leads to very comedic moments and <laughs> the running gag honestly it just kept getting more ridiculous and more funny i like these dumb running gags more rather than the cream puff running gag the cream puff kind of gets old sometimes but these like dumb moments they're actually pretty funny but that's it for me but hey if you're still here if you didn't enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time take care